Hey there, it's Louie. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to crochet a really easy four leaf clover. Now this pattern is actually pretty simple. So we're just gonna jump right into it. But before we go there, if you like this video, please like down below, subscribe to the channel and push notifications so you don't miss it when we come out with new videos. I also have a left-handed version of this video available too. Okay, now all the materials that you're going to need for this pattern are just going to be the yarn, a crochet hook and a darning needle. You actually might get away with not even needing to use the darning needle. I'm gonna be using worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton today because I find it's the best for this pattern, but you can really use any size yarn that you want. For the crochet hook, I'm gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook because it works best with the yarn that I'm using. Okay, well, without further ado, let's get hooking and jump into how to crochet this really simple four leaf clover. Okay, so we're gonna start with a magic loop using our yarn. Now to do the magic loop, I do have a video tutorial here that you can check out. It shows a few different ways to do the magic loop, but I'll just show you my favorite way really quick. You wanna take the yarn pointing down towards the ground and pinch it between your middle and thumb and go over your index finger and then back around your middle finger and then over the index finger again to create an X on the front and two parallel lines on the back. And you're gonna take these two ends and pinch them between your middle or your ring and pinky finger and close it in to keep the magic loop held into place. Now take your crochet hook and have the back of the, your hand facing you with the two parallel lines. Take your crochet hook, go under the first bar and hook onto the second. Pull that second one under the first and loop it around like this to create a little loop. Now go over that first bar and loop onto the second one again like this. Kind of might need your finger to help guide it over the crochet hook, and then pull that through the loop on the crochet hook like so to create a chain. And that's gonna be our first chain made. Now this is a magic loop. You can pull this tail end and it'll pull that loop tighter. We're gonna be making our uh, four leaf clover into this magic loop. All the stitches will go into one round into this magic loop. Now I have two different sizes that you can do. You can make a large four leaf clover or a small one. The small one is made with double crochets where the large one is made with triple crochets. Now I'm gonna make the big one first and then we'll do the, the little one second just as some explainer. So for the large uh, four leaf clover, we're gonna start by chaining three. We're gonna be creating all three of our leaves here and they're all made the exact same way. You're gonna chain three. Now that first chain that we made for that, for that magic loop counts as our first chain. So we're gonna go, that's our first and then two and Three. Now we're going to do a triple crochet into this magic loop. For a triple crochet, we're going to yarn over twice, one and two, then go into the magic loop, yarn over again, pull it through the magic loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, one and two, and then yarn over again, pull through another two loops, one and two, and then yarn over again and pull through the last two loops, one and two, just like that. That's gonna be a triple crochet, which this pattern is going to be pretty much primarily using. After doing the triple crochet, we want to chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the magic loop. Like so. To slip stitch, you just go into the magic loop, yarn over and pull it through the loop on the hook. Now we're gonna repeat that process three to four times depending on how many, clo uh, how many leaves you want on your four leaf clover. Now we're gonna do a four leaf clover so we wanna repeat that four times total. That was our first repeat. Let's do our second leaf. You want to, again, chain three, one, two, three, triple crochet into the magic loop, yarning over twice, go into the magic loop and yarn over, pull it under the magic loop, yarn over and pull through just two loops, one and two, Yarn over again and pull through another two loops, one and two. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops, one and two. Now you want to chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the magic loop. Like that. All right, there's our second leaf, and let's keep on going. We're gonna do our third leaf, chain three, one, two, and three, triple crochet, I'll just go nice and quick since I've already shown you how to do this twice now. And hey, again, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch into the magic loop. Okay, so there's three. I pull this magic loop just a little tighter now. And now we're gonna do one more, chaining three, one, two, three, 
yarn over twice, into the magic loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, and then the last bit, chain two, and slip stitch into the magic loop. Okay, now the last thing we wanna do, we're gonna pull this nice and tighter, uh, we want to make a stem. Now obviously you don't have to make a stem if you just want the four leaf clover, but the stem is kind of part of it. So to make the stem for the larger four leaf clover, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch skipping the first chain and slip stitch into all the chains all the way down. Now, I personally like working into the back loops of the chains. I find them a little bit easier and nicer to look at. So we're going to find those back loops, get our crochet hook into that back loop like that. I usually need my nail to help me pry it open and then yarn over, pull it through that back loop and through the loop on the hook like so. Now again, you can't just work in the top of the loops too. It doesn't really matter that much. It's just a preference. Um, I just like using the back loops. So you can see I'm just going into each of these back loops and slip stitching my way back down to the magic loop again. To finish this up, we're going to cut the yarn and just pull it all the way through like that. Now we're gonna take this end and go straight through the center before tightening, tightening the magic loop. that and we're going to take the end this other end here and we're going to tighten this whole magic loop I like to hold it really close to the base as I pull it tight so it doesn't accidentally break my yarn and you want to be very careful because it you can break your yarn if you have fragile yarn okay so now you're going to have a nice closed magic loop and your four leaf clover is basically finished now if you want to you can hide these ends or you can use them to uh tie on a pin if you want to have this attached to a pin. To hide these ends though, it's really not too tough. All you need to do is take your darning needle and go in the back of a few of these stitches like this and then thread it onto our darning needle, one of the two ends, and pull it through like this, pull nice and tight, and then do the same thing with this other end but going the opposite way. So we're going to go through the back of a few of these loops, like this, thread this other end, and pull it all the way through like so. And now we can cut these two ends nice and close if you'd like. One and two. And there you go. This is how to crochet the large version of the four leaf clover. Again, like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. And uh, now let's go ahead and make a smaller one, which is made almost the exact same way, but instead we're doing two chains and double crocheting. Let's go ahead and get that second four leaf clover started though. I'm gonna start the same way with a magic loop. So I'll just go ahead and get that magic loop made. And we're gonna count that as our first chain. And for a small four leaf clover, we're just gonna chain two total. So that's gonna be our first chain. We're gonna chain one more for two. Now we're gonna do a double crochet into the magic loop. Yarn over one time, go into that magic loop, yarn over again and pull it under. Then yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, one and two. Yarn over again and pull through another two loops, one and two. Now we're just gonna chain one time and then slip stitch into the magic loop, like that. And then we're gonna repeat that three to four times depending on how many leaves you want in your clover. Now obviously I'm gonna do four and I'm just gonna go ahead and go this, do this pretty quick. We're just gonna chain two and double crochet one. One and two, there we go. And then chain one and slip stitch one. All right. And just keep doing that. Chain two, double crochet one, chain one, slip stitch one. One more. Double crochet one, chain one, and slip stitch one. 
I'm gonna pull the magic loop a little tighter because it, it's a little easier to work with that way. And this time, instead of doing five chains to make our stem, we're gonna chain, uh, we're gonna do four chains. We're gonna make it slightly smaller. So chain four times, one, two, three, and four, and then skip the first chain and slip stitch all the way down. Now, just to show you the difference of the chains, I'm gonna slip stitch using the top loop of my chains instead of the back loop like I did for my longer four leaf clover. And this will show you kind of the difference of the look depending on which part of the chain you slip stitch into. Once you do that final slip stitch there, um, you can also slip stitch into the into the center here if you'd like to, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it, pull it, and go straight through the center with it, like that. Okay, now we're gonna take the magic loop here. Actually, I'm gonna get that magic loop through the center too, because I want it on the back of my four leaf clover. And we're just gonna pull it nice and tight to tighten up that four leaf clover and then we could hide these ends in to make them hidden. And here you can see what the difference looks like. This is the stem using the top loops of the chains, which is a little easier to work with. And here is the stem using the back loops of the chains, which makes it a little bit more, I don't know, small and stem-like. But either way, it totally works. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please like and subscribe down below and check out my other YouTube videos for how to crochet things like miniature hearts. I have a bunch of them. You can find them all on my channel or at clubcrochet.com. But regardless, thank you so much for crocheting along with me. I hope you liked this video. Happy hooking and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.